production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes, right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. We are almost live from the year 1944, and uh, we've got some exciting new things going on at Game Fire you're going to want to check out. we got a new site. Tell, give us feedback. We want to improve the site any way we can, so check out the site and please give us feedback on any and everything that you find there. Uh, you can send it to me or to... Uh, to tales of at gamefire.com um, or you can post in the forums so we highly encourage you guys to do that but uh, aside from that we're on Angaville again and for this you can blame Vinsby because he found a match that he just absolutely had to get on the show and uh, I am Bridger and with me of course is my talented co-host Vittensby who uh, finds these matches for us and brings them to you and I know a lot of people are sick and tired of Angaville but apparently this is the most awesome match ever we've seen in a while so we have to watch it so we're here on Angaville again I promise we'll try and get some more team games I think next week how dare you make excuses for me Bridget I appreciate it though no, it's, <laughs> you know, no this is this is probably one of the best matches in the uh, game replays.org tournament uh, which I was playing and got into the uh, final eight uh, only be eliminated by uh, spikes I don't know it's Russian and anyways uh, and he's he's uh, in the same clan as uh, Savikin and Aniketos who I I don't want to rub it in your face, Annie, but I know you thought you were going to win that one. But I uh, pulled off the upset there. Uh, so it's these guys are all in the same clan, and uh, Savvy's right now is the number one British player. And of course, we have uh, War Child Surprise. And um, I'm fine. I'm happy. You know, we've had our differences in the past, but I'm happy to finally get one of his his replays on the on the show. Uh, he definitely is a talented player, and uh, so we got two kind of clans ish going at it in this one. And uh, it right. should be a really good game. All right, so let's get it started, and we'll do some more pre-game warm-up as the players get their situation situated. We're at the five-second mark, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. All right, so on the British side, we do have uh, Savikin, and on the... Um, on the uh, Panzer Ver Elite. Panzer Elite. I don't know. I was thinking Wehrmacht. Panzer Elite, we have War Child Surprise. So we will see uh, how things go here. And, of course, the completely overpowered Kettencrad, at least if you read the Relic News forums. <laughs> I was reading a thread today where people go, Ah, oh, but he's so much faster than anything anybody else gets. You can just cap the whole map. Uh, yes. Well, okay. And there's, uh, there's Gogi putting in uh, a little friendly banter into uh, the beginning of the... The beginning of the uh, replay, uh, not to spoil anything, but, uh, you know, this was a quarterfinals match uh, so that's that's top eight match and uh, the winner of this particular game this was game three uh, with uh, war child surprise and savvy can RSA each taking one um, the only thing to comment I did not watch the second game but uh, basically uh, surprise got taken out and in, in the same way that I got taken out um, well in in my first game actually so I think the these uh, RSA guys have got this strat down pat on Angaville against Americans basically it's a uh, three infantry half tracks early on um, you engage the rifles when they retreat you follow it right into their base and you basically just own everything um, games done in a, under 100k about eight minutes so wow um, there's some pretty pretty I don't really think Americans against Panzer elite have any kind of chance on uh, Angaville with uh, the current balance. Yeah, because they can that, get those those strat. half tracks out so early, even before you even get close to thinking about sticky bombs. I mean, not enough munitions income, there's just no way. And of course they could always, uh, if they wanted to, they could always uh, go and kite it anyway. Yep. yep. And uh, Savvy doing what he did last time against Aniketos, uh, getting that extra infantry section, which... I just don't really understand why he does that, but, uh, you know. Well, yeah, actually, that's right. Last time we, we, we saw it was reversed, and Savikin was in the south, and he put his HQ over here near the hedge, which I think probably is better for the British to be in the south, because that's a really good place for an HQ. 
Yeah. That that hedge gives uh, them a lot of protection. Yeah, I saw a little bit of this game earlier, and uh, it reminded me the a lot of the progression of it, at least in the early game. You know, with the positioning of the trucks and early trenches and just teching patterns and things like that. It reminded me a lot of when I played my uh, my game against uh, Spikes. Swikes. That, honestly, <laughs> I, I, that, I just don't know how to pronounce that Stop name. Stop being foreign. You know, I don't know. Yes. Uh, but uh, nothing going on quite yet. No. Nope. Um, this matchup tends to be a little... A little... You, like, Panzer Elite doesn't want to play it too aggressively because... Panzer Grenadiers really can't stand up very well initially uh, against the you know lieutenant and, and two infantry sections. Yeah. Uh, so you get, definitely got to wait till you get either an infantry half track or a mortar half track out to engage. So early game's all about capping, uh, trying to out cap the British, cap faster, tech up faster, get you know this or that. Uh, Savikin is building a mortar emplacement, which That's will a be very good. Interesting area. Positioning. Yeah, positioning is what I was thinking. Yeah, popular strat on this uh, on this map is to it's to put a forward HQ either in that south building, um, southeast building, or the one just right above it. Um, so what he's trying to do with that is is basically cover the middle section oh, as yeah. well as it not all allowing the way to there. there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, if he had built it just a smidge more south, it would have really covered that strat point so that they couldn't take it back if he managed to uh, decap it. Well, if they they could, yeah. it would just be more horrific. Yep. I noticed uh, in 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 my game also this particular strat, and when I saw the Bren came out, it, it, it another thing really reminded me um, of my game. And I don't know. I think that this might be one of the better strategies that British have right now. Certainly, uh, Savvy's using it, and he's the the top British player at the moment. So I would assume that this, uh, you know, lieutenant uh, infantry section and uh, Bren carrier starts pretty pretty popular. Um, and surprise is going uh, with a wise choice, getting the mortar half track first. Um, I don't really like getting infantry half tracks first as uh, as Panzer Elite, and uh, Savvy's going to be countering that by getting the MG upgrade on the uh, on the Bren carrier. Yeah, and that's 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 tough micro though. The Bren carrier is so weak; it can do a lot of damage with that um, the AP rounds there. But you've really got to be careful about leaving exposed because if they just you know blob rush your Bren carrier, it's going to go down real quick. I mean, yep. it's, it's even going to lose against... I mean, I've seen it lose against an infantry half-track when you turn on the AP rounds sometimes. I mean, it depends upon the relative... how much damage they've already taken and what's firing at what infantry-wise, but it can definitely easily lose against uh, an infantry half-track with proper support from the Panzer Elite player. Yeah, you definitely got to be careful with your Brens. Uh, he's definitely... Savvy's definitely keeping it around, putting it in, uh, you know, a good place. It's an yep. excellent location. In the, in the cover there. The vehicles yep. actually do uh, benefit from vehicle cover. Albeit a little bit. There was a little harassment on the right. Uh, Savvy's initial uh, emplacement uh, managed to dislodge Surprise from the house on the right. And uh, unfortunately, Savvy tried to garrison it but was pushed Ooh. off. Uh, we do have a field support truck coming on. Surprise. And we have an infantry wide section speed. upgraded with rifle grenades, which I haven't seen yet in any of our matches this early. Like, usually it's a Bren first. Yeah. Um,. Rifle grenades are ex extremely good, and I've noticed that mo a lot of British players tend to favor to get them first. Uh, they're pretty inaccurate, as you can see right there, but when they do hit, they cause massive damage. Um, that that rifle uh, section's going to have to retreat, but... Uh, yeah. But uh, one thing to note, a, a nice little move that some players can pick up on is uh, what Surprise did with his Kettengrad, sitting it at the off map. So he knew exactly that that field support truck was ah. was going to come out when it, when it did. Uh, Savvy's lieutenant's in, in danger. He's going to have to pull back. Yeah, he had um, it in heavy cover, though. That's what saved it right there. Otherwise, it might have been really in trouble. Yep. And the Bren is, it's doing a good job so far. It hasn't taken too much damage. Of course, it does have that automa automated repair, um, but that, that does cost quite a bit of munitions oh. and uh, slows down speed. That Look was a nice hit. Come by on, AP rounds. What's he doing? He does have enough uh, munitions, but just oh. barely. Unless, I th did they change it from 35? Because I know in the beta, I believe it was 35. And we do have quick. Uh, Quick incendiary grenades from Surprise, and uh, we also have defensive operations early on, and that's a great combination because of the cooldown. Uh, you can see the little munitions icon above the half track, above yeah. the 
um, Panzer Grenadiers, and they're able to not only regen health, but uh, the munitions countdown is, uh, uh, because their abilities take so long to recharge, is uh, severely lessened. Yeah. Uh, now, this is weird. I can't even see munitions, manpower, and fuel income right now. I don't know if that's some weird bug that I had during this startup. Maybe it's something I did when I clicked on the, the user list, but oh well. I, I've actually gotten that once or twice while oh, okay. watching replays, but that's unfortunate. Uh, damaged engine, very nice Ooh. hit with the mortar. A lot yeah. of people are under the misnomer that, that when you a mortar hits something, it's it's a bug. That's not a bug. It was a patch change, I believe, in 1.5 or 1.6, where mortars gave damage engines to light vehicles. Um, now, should the mortar half-track do that? I don't know. Uh -oh. but suffice to say... Uh, it's a feature, it's not a bug. Nice usage on the uh, side road surprises, you know, being the excellent player that he is, throwing a grenade over the hedge as well as uh, he knows to stay on the side. You don't want to walk down the center road. Yeah. So it's a good good micro by him. And this is why you want those rifle grenades early yeah, on. Yeah, on Angerville, definitely. Look at that, how yeah. useful they are with those hedges. <laughs> they knock yeah. down the tree with the, uh, the mortar half track there. <laughs> Your cover's gone. All right, so <laughs> good pl good positioning for the HQs at this point. He's got plus, you know, however many, God knows, plus 26, right, on the uh, oh boy. on the fuel and the munitions. But here comes attack of the blob with a <laughs> Panzer Shrek. Three Panzer Shreks. Whoa, -oh. that emplacement's yep. gone. Here comes yeah, the last volley. Savvy has quite a bit of infantry, uh, including a captain and a lieutenant in that mix. So. And mortars are falling yeah. too. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. Does he have two mortar half tracks? No, he only has the uh, one, but that's weird. I thought I saw two incendiary. It must have been one incendiary, and the other ones are just extra regulars. Yep. Or maybe they were incendiary exactly. grenades, and I just didn't see him thrown. Um, so we're seeing a logistic company. He's teching backwards now, which is interesting. What do you think he's going that, uh, that route for? Oh, uh, well, I, I mean, whenever you do this strat to get the quick mortar half tracks and then go back to logistics, you're going to be Panzer Grenadier spamming. Yeah. Um, that's so the he's only probably reason. getting. We do done. have a Stuart coming in, which Ooh. against all those Shreks, maybe it gets a lucky shot off. Canister shot's definitely coming in. That's a huge risk that Savvy's taking. Oh, way down there. Oh, shreds four of them. <laughs> Yeah, not worth the exchange, though, oh, unfortunately. Oh, wow. <laughs> the flag for Ling got it. It almost got out of there. He was so close to getting out of there with just a smidge of health left. I don't know if that was worth the manpower, though. No, it definitely wasn't. As most Panzer Elite players know, against British, usually what's going to come out is the is the early, uh, the early Stuart, and uh, that's kind of what you need to prepare for, and that's why Surprise got so many Shreks. Uh, so... He did have the counter, and he, he used it well. Yeah. Uh, it looks like that Bren on the road might take, get a damaged engine, might go down. Got to be careful with that, but uh, suppression is going off, and, of course, Surprise has to retreat after that because his troops are pretty much worthless at that point. Uh, looks like Savvy might be trying to do a little switch switch right now. Brits bring a, being aggressive always makes me laugh out loud, but it changes his mind. Rifle grenade going off. Two of them. It's good when they can get them to stand still. The light, light rifle grenades can be really devastating. But, you know, they're inaccurate, so if they're moving, that just makes them so much less accurate. But He could really use uh, a Bren or here. something else. Yeah, not like a, a Bren squad here, too, because he doesn't have a lot of just heavy firepower to force anything to stay where it is. You know, because that, that's a good strat for, for one squad to just... You know, pin him down with fire. Not actually pin him, but put him in a position where if you're going to run out into the open, you're going to pay for it, theoretically. That that was a well, uh, well, not well placed because you don't actually place it, but uh, that was a a nicely landed right. rifle grenade. Did a bit of damage, and another one's going off. Uh, one thing to note is, uh, you know, Surprise chose to get defensive veterancy. I haven't looked oh. into what, rounds. what the... He's chasing the mortar half track. Is he going to make it? Uh, Oh, he's no, swerving. He <laughs> yeah, he was, he was ducking and dodging in the hedgerows there. That's pretty cool. All right, sorry. Go uh, ahead about the... Uh, uh, what was I mentioning? <laughs> uh, rifle grenades. Something. Well, I lost my train of thought. Damage uh, engine. I did it again. Uh-oh. What? What? What is this AI? <laughs> maybe he did that on purpose, but maybe he's I like think, yeah, suiciding. He it's, it's gone. 
Uh, surprise got uh, the increased squad size upgrade. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about veterancy. Right, veterancy. If you notice on on all of uh, Surprise's squads that have veterancy, he chooses defensive veterancy. Um, and first squad of commandos coming in the upper right VP. Interesting. Um, uh, he chooses defensive veterancy. Now I haven't actually looked into the veterancy bonuses and what they do, but. I've noticed that most players, when they do like this Panzer Grenadier spam strat, because Panzer Grenadiers are so, um, uh, so they're kind of weak and they cost a lot of manpower, and uh, they they also need uh, to have something a little extra defensively. So I'm assuming that 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 that's just much better than the offensive veterancy because I very rarely see anyone that's good get offensive veterancy with the Panzer Grenadiers. They usually say that for the Fallschirm Jaegers and the vehicles. Yeah. Well, as far as I know, for the for the, for the the units, the defensive veterancy gives, at least I'm pretty sure this is for the infantry, gives them uh, a small amount of health regeneration. It stacks, so when you get three of them, it's a decent amount of health regeneration, but one is really not that much. It gives them, like, received accuracy bonuses and um, anti-suppression bonuses, I think. Offensive is stuff like cooldown reductions and reload reductions, but oh, that's what he needed. Cromwell's on the field. Flank speed. Charges yeah, some knocked stuff's down. gonna get wow. run over right there. Two guys just oh, got run over. Oh, three. three guys. Almost got the last one. Wow. Yeah. And you thought the M10 was bad, Bridget. Yeah, I that know. That thing's a beast. Uh, so we do have Savvy's decided to do a very quick teching strat. Get out his. That uh, just end barely of tier. saved his field support truck too. Yep. Decided to get out his end of tier uh, uh, building. Just have another commando squad. Two two commando drops on the right hand side. Uh, yeah. Interesting. I mean, wow. Just run into a bunch of butterfly bombs oh, by the strap geez. point. There's just more. Over about Immobilized. Five or six. Oh wow. Yep. Track got yep. knocked off. I didn't know butterfly bombs butterfly. could do that. Yeah. Well, when you run over four or five of them, yeah. for sure. Uh, so He's here we like, have the infamous should be desperately blob. building sappers right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's the. Not, uh, never gonna make it. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say we have a, a Panzer support command, which my guess would be not gonna be getting a Panzer IV at this point. So probably a light AT half track, uh, but we'll see how Savvy reacts to that when that comes out. Five percent bugs, miss. How many shots will it take to kill the Cromwell tank? Or will he? Here comes the... Oh, there it is. Never there mind. we go. But here comes the Pops. massive commando rush. Wow, and the Falsham Jaegers are getting focus fired and owned by the commandos. Wow. He's got two squads that cost approximately up to, like, what, a thousand manpower. I should really hope that Falsham Jaeger squad gets owned. <laughs> yep, and there comes the rest of Savvy's... Uh, Troopers, so to speak. Man, if those rifle grenades had been in there earlier, that would have been really nice. He's got a good force there. Uh, hopefully, he won't lose his lieutenant, which is level one vet. Uh, I think Savvy at this point might might want to get a casualty clearing uh, station so that he can use 40 munitions. Uh, he has 150 munitions, and yeah. you know that would heal up his troops because you know he's got a full squad of the infantry section right there with the rifle grenades, and uh, they're at half health. Yeah. So uh, you it's can't really. Go ahead. I was just going to say, it's too bad he retreated all those squads because he didn't use the glider to just reinforce them. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Sure. That would have been really uh, useful right there. He could have saved uh, the whole trip back to the yeah. uh, front yeah. line. And Kentonrad yeah. in the background doing its part. <laughs> Pardon the war. Yeah, surprise is definitely uh, getting out, uh, out resourced at this point. I mean, not only is the British tech. Um, uh, British trucks uh, working against him, but uh, he has nothing connected right now. So yeah, he's just uh, getting it back. Doing a good job, and you'll notice I can see all the veterancy. I mean, we got level two defensive, level two defensive, another level two defensive, level one. I mean, everything's defense uh, orientated on the on the Panzer Grenadiers, which uh, leads me to believe that the veterancy just must be a lot better. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, the healing might be one of the major reasons because it'd be a lot, you know, less expensive than creating that forward uh, operations area if you just get the free veterancy and, and give them a little bit of healing on the side. 
It's not, yeah. and you know, they're going back to their base, right, to heal up too, but they're just a little bit of healing, so if they're in a minor skirmish, they can still become full health, you know, before the next thing happens. And maybe if you get triple veterancy defensive, maybe it adds up to, you know, maybe the equivalent of Wehrmacht uh, healing yeah. on infantry. We had another heroic I haven't actually charge done the math going on. on that. Yeah. Where's the lieutenant? I don't even see him. Oh, he's behind. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's hiding. He's crouching. Yeah. So, so we could definitely have used the earlier casualty clearing station or, or about this uh, about this point. Uh, he can tell that uh, he just built a Panzer Support Command completed. So uh, we will... He, he can he see that because... The, yeah, on the right side. The um, those two glider drops, I mean... Noses. You know... I saw Moose Snuff play, I think it was actually against Surprise on uh, on Langris, and uh, it was replay of the week actually last week, but uh, it was an interesting game, it wasn't one of the more action focused games for the first half, but it got pretty good, uh, so you guys can check that out if you want to, but uh, I really felt that Moose Snuff, despite not moving his first HQ the entire game, uh, his first truck, you know, the HQ truck, uh, when he deployed the the gliders, he did it right by his base, you know. And I see a lot of British players do what Sa Savvy's doing, and it's just like, well, you know, you can build the commandos cheaper next time, and you can, you know, reinforce from there. So maybe it's not such a like great idea to just throw it around the map like like he's been doing. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Uh, we got a Bofors going up. We'll see how that pays off for him. And he cancels it. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe he accidentally built that one like you did. <laughs> uh, yeah, it makes me cry against the tiger, King Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're going butterfly bombs, we're going to see uh, at the bottom of the tree, we're going to see an 88. We're going to see um, the the tank. Winchell's uh, Donuts Winchell's, Combat Airs. That's what it's called, Ward. Winchell's Donuts. I knew it had some crazy name that I can never remember. We got more FG-42s <laughs> upgraded, so we must have another section somewhere of... Uh, there they are, both of them right down here, the Fosh and Jaegers. Yeah, that's a huge amount of Panzer Grenadier spam. I mean, we got Dude, four they, squads. They, they got the name of this game wrong. It's it's a Company of Heroes Opposing Blobs. Seriously. Actually, someone in that COH inspirational uh, posters thing created that. Uh, that's a great <laughs> thread, by the way. A lot of people liked it, including myself. Uh, Savvy's doing a great job with that Cromwell. You really want to keep it at about distance about that. You can see, like, it's already it's already killed uh, two guys. Easily can kite from long distances, just like the Firefly. It's just a shame that, uh, wow. Oh, here comes the charge <laughs> into trying to kill those... Shreks, and he finally got the commando inside the trench. That's what he really needed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got his other crumble. I just, the Shreks are just so freaking powerful. It's almost not worth building tanks. And these <laughs> yeah, are the weaker Shreks. Remember tank. we were talking to Hero, and he talked about how yeah. the, the crumb, not the, 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 the Wehrmacht, have a have a stronger version of the Shrek than the Panzer Elite. It does it does more damage. It, it has a higher penetration or something to that effect. And it's like yep. Jesus, if this is the weak Shrek, and nothing the British build survives more than ten seconds, I gotta say either the Shreks are way too cheap, or they're just way too powerful. Uh, I go assume they're too powerful, but I don't know. It's been that way ever since 1.5, around yeah. that time, and, and, and 1.6. We do have a commando already going off on the little truck. It's going to be a complete miss, but it's the first fireworks show of the game. Yay! Look how fast that comes down. Yeah. It's, just, it's really the best arty in the game. I can't believe they would make arty that, that effective. It's only, and only three cost shots, though, shots. right? Is that why? It's like three or four shots as opposed to like the six of some of the other ones. Yeah, but it comes down super fast. It clears an area. It costs 80 munitions, and the British have it. And it costs 80 munitions as the British, which is nothing. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe he, if he didn't cancel that boffers in the last run, maybe he would have been in a much better position for that blob attack. Yep, we have another boffers uh, coming up. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is, you know, an interesting predicament. I mean, uh, Savvy sent a commando squad over to the right to cap the VP, but uh, Surprise is really keeping the pressure on. We do have uh, the 25-pounder artillery barrage coming in. Looks like. He did use it somewhere, didn't he? No, it's on recharge. 
So you mean that? Yeah, he is in the upper the... upper left hand corner. Ah, he used it on the. Uh, that was the 80 munitions barrage you're talking about. Yep, I think it killed the Kettengrad. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it definitely did. The Boffers is uh, trying its best against this infantry here. Surprise, surprise. I'm surprised, surprise. I'm surprised he doesn't put his uh, his FGs in the trench, although I can understand because those commando grenades are really good against yeah. uh, units in trenches. So, uh, the other we have question the first... is, Go ahead. like oftentimes we wonder, why is it you're charging an entrenched British position when all you have to do is kill the frickin' commando squad that's on the right-hand side? <laughs> Oh, well, he's got that's... demo charges in that victory point, too. Yep. That's that's the age-old question, isn't it, Bridger? Br Br you can let British build up, and then you're on their terms if you don't attack them at all. That's true. Um, and that that's the dilemma. You can't attack them and successfully do it. I mean, we'll probably see another ten charges by surprise in this game, probably to no avail, except maybe, maybe the last one. I don't know how this ends. It could end on VP. It's still half the game. Uh, speaking of which, Surprise has a really big lead on VPs. Um, so you can let them camp there and build up, and then you know they'll do the switch whenever they want to and go on the offensive, or you can keep the pressure on. And uh, I know Surprise is an American player, uh, at least in vanilla COH, and you know he he's going to keep the pressure on because you don't you don't want British to be able to get four Cromwells and five Commando squads and just bust out of nowhere, and then you know you got to somehow uh, survive that. So we do have another Is that fake. Yeah, we, we Ooh, do. Oh, fake. faked out worked. <laughs> or maybe yep. he's like, no, I meant to do that. Oh, Fashionmaker with two f two uh, offensive veterancies. And one with one offensive veteran. Yeah. More butterfly bombs coming down. I love those things. I think that's one of the coolest uh, coolest parts about OF. Where do you put so the butterfly, butterfly bombs? bombs. Um, on the on the uh, southern. So more southeast building, and demo charge blew up in the upper right hand corner, killing the entire squad. Wow! Wow! All yeah, all the body parts. I forgot to look up there for that. Now, was that that was just a Panzer Grenadier squad? I think. No, that was the double veterancy Falschemjäger Falsch squad. Jägers. Oh, yep. that's a bad, bad, bad hit for a surprise. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's hard to recover from that, but he does have a huge amount of infantry on the field. Uh, even compared to Savvy's pretty much exclusive infantry strategy, uh, so he's building a 25 pounder back at his base too for defense. Yep. In addition to that extra artillery. It looks like Surprise is lining up for another uh, another assault on the left. Um, I think I think one thing that we we saw was it the time. No, it wasn't last time. I don't know. I mean, I must have watched a game, and a lot of the times, like British players, they'll do what's what Savvy's doing, um, and he'll just kind of camp there, and you know, they don't they don't move and and slowly expand and and do what what Savvy's doing in his base. You know, a little bit, one territory at a time, one territory at a time. I think Spike Spikes did that really good against me when he when he did the switch. Uh, he kind of inched his way over there and then eventually got it. Um, but uh, let's not interrupt this beautiful massacre here. Triple veterancy on that captain, I think. Oh, but the lieutenant bit it. I think that was a single veterancy lieutenant. Ouch, there goes the boffers. Tons and tons of XP. Yeah, about 11, 11 EXP from that. Level 3 captain, I believe. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the captain in there. Yeah, yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty nasty. Uh, so Surprise is forced to uh, to pull back again. Is he still uh, that in there trench looks like it's going to burn down, though. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got five v uh, CPs here for the Axis player, but I can't tell. He hasn't gotten the... I don't know. He hasn't gotten the other off map. What do they call them? They're not Flashmakers. The um, the other infantry that the right hand side gets. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna if he's gonna end up doing that. A lot of people feel it's a waste of uh, manpower. Oh no, he's I probably not it, gonna build them. I think in the American matchup, there, he just once picked it's more him. Balanced. What I meant was he hadn't picked anything yet, so I was wondering what was going on. Now he's got it. He's got uh -oh. the verbal vin too. The verb. So yeah, we're we're pretty much at the end of tree. I mean, we have the glider with Tetrarch and the glider HQ. So Savvy's completely done with his uh, 
tech tree at uh, 26 minutes. 25 pounder going off in the base. I've been concerned about uh, building like a flak drilling with the uh, Luftwaffe ground forces, especially against the British. Um, just with all the arty that people have, you know, with the 25 pounder uh, on map and off map, uh, because that's what the commando arty is called. It just seems like it's really risky to build one of those things. I, I anticipate maybe against uh, the Americans it'll be more useful once uh, the balance is worked out. Woo! Uh oh. Nice. There goes the mortar. Oh, nice. this is bad. Oh no, Savvy Kid says, go to hell! <laughs> That boffer's killed the mortar really quick. <laughs> and the nice. rest of the infantry just got slaughtered in that massacre there. Oh, wow. That is going to be really hard to recover from now. Yep. So now we just got to see Savvy can get over there and cap some of those VPs, if not both of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to switch. Uh, surprise is really... Despite losing man after man after man, uh, it seems like he's got the upper hand right now. Um, definitely. Um, if you look at what Savvy has, uh, he seems to have, what, one squad of commandos left after all that? Um, building another boffers, uh, and two infantry sections, and a level three captain. Doesn't even have a lieutenant anymore. I guess, I guess that died. So Surprise definitely has a has a good advantage right now. Maybe a couple well-placed 25-pounders uh, upon retreat might give Savvy an edge. Uh, but it, it, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, something drastic is going to have to happen for uh, Savvy to be able to switch and hold. Another boffer's going up here, interestingly. Uh, this infantry section is going to get raped and have to retreat here. There's no way. No, there's no way. I, I think Not he's, even. He, he's Go got, ahead. Yeah, he's gonna, I was going to say he's going to have that artillery, the fake one, probably. Yep. I don't think the other one's probably still on cooldown. Yep, yep, yep. So we might see a base rush here that might be successful. I don't know. Do you think that Boffers is decent against infantry? Is, is it more useful than the uh, than the machine gun nest? Two incendiary grenades. Oh. Actually, those weren't incendiary grenades. Those were anti-vehicle grenades, I'm pretty sure. There's oh, yeah. no way incendiary grenades would own that that fast. Yeah, they yeah. must have been anti-vehicle. Uh, Interesting people say enough, they Go ahead. Interestingly enough, the anti-vehicle killed the infantry that were manning it and not the thing itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good point. Uh, Remember when gliders used to kill everything they passed through? <laughs> yeah. It was a great bug. Yeah. So balanced. But uh, interesting. That's, that's actually really funny. Those uh, men from the boffers just basically popped up out of the ground. I mean, he reinforced it from the commandos, but... Oh, it's gone. Yeah. I don't think uh, those are helping him that much. No. Yeah, uh, Surprise has done a, a good job of keeping the pressure on. Uh, Savvy's really not been able to do what he wants to do. I think he was probably thinking that armor command truck was actually going to do something for him, but uh, didn't end up being that way, both those Cromwells got taken out. All the uh, all the vehicles that Savvy's made, you know, uh, the Stuart, Cromwell, the Bren, they've all pretty much been uh, decimated by the the uh, massive amounts of Shreks. Powerful Shreks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, the Shreks have been kind of crazy powerful since like 1.5. Um, I don't know, since they fixed that clipping bug. <laughs> yeah, but you know. that clipping bug wasn't supposed to have done anything in terms of the actual potency of the Shrek. Well, it was only supposed to be a graphical error. I don't know. Maybe maybe they were always just that powerful, but because of the clipping bug, everybody thought they were weaker. I don't know. And so they just didn't build them in the massive numbers that it was required to actually do something with them. Yep. I think we all had kind of a jaded uh, perspective on the way COA should be played after the uh, armor company Calliope versus, you know, yeah. <laughs> Puma Stug spam when infantry had no role after five or ten minutes in the game. So uh, it took a while, but uh, I noticed, you know, once 1.5, and I think it also had to deal with, like, the veterancy buffs and a lot of other stuff. But, yeah, Shreks are kind of crazy. We do have uh, the, the actual 
25 pounder yeah. barrage going down, but I think uh, Surprise uh, kind of learned from that. Yeah, he lost too many times. But now, uh oh, this one squad of Panzer Grenadiers is going to get owned. Yep, that was a bad move for him. Now he's going to be free to use these commandos sort of, well, never mind. I was going to say one at a time, but now there's a blob coming. Yeah, and uh, Surprise knows that that's just... Yeah, it's definitely the fake. That's way too fast for him to cool down. <laughs> yeah. uh, now he's got all these other squads at his base. And uh, it seems to me... Well, what was that? Was that the detonation from... Uh... Yeah, it might have been a debt charge from the commandos. I'm just really not sure why Savvy keeps on building those boffers. I mean, they they didn't... I don't know. They seemed okay. Uh, they're pretty cheap, maybe that's why, but uh, it seems like he could he could definitely just keep, you know, maybe one of them around and, wouldn't, and wouldn't get the machine uh, gun another nest, squad the, the, or something. The machine gun nest, the Vickers, at least suppress them a little bit, maybe. Upon yeah, attack, but, I don't know. Maybe, but it's... it's still really weak. It, yeah, it's pretty worthless. Commander is forcing a retreat. I don't know if uh, Savvy's going to have to do something because <laughs> the VPs are, are kind of getting low. Uh, when Surprise caps that again, he's going to have the advantage. Wow. Again. Yeah, that's a lot of wasted artillery so far in the last, like, minute. Yeah. Been lots of arty, but not much uh, success with it. There was that one good hit uh, on the left-hand side. Where the uh, more southeast southwestern uh, boffers is, I'm surprised that Savvy's been able to hold on to any of his trucks, uh, considering how many uh, infantry's been flying at him. Uh, yeah. So, but he's definitely done a good job with that. Now uh, he doesn't have any lieutenants now or captains. I mean, you'd think he'd just get a lieutenant to back up those commandos and the infantry sections and stuff there. Yeah, he does have a uh, the captains in the slit trench. Oh, it is. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I see it. I'm sorry. It is still there. The double vet um, lieutenant though died a while ago. Uh oh. Decoy already for the win. Yeah. The no, other one's might, on. It might have been the real uh, artillery over. there. Oh, it was the real RT. Yeah, it was. What is this? The decoy He's was sending on, in. The, the uh, combat air supporter. Yeah. But now, I'm surprised to see that it actually attacked. I was under the impression that it only attacks vehicles, but, uh... Oh, maybe that's what he was going for! <laughs> You're gonna get some boffers, are you? Here comes some kamikaze! <laughs> so, yeah, it attacks the trucks, doesn't it? Because yep, they're attacking apparently. from vehicles. Apparently... Yeah, there it comes for another one. Didn't get shot down this time, though. We've got a lieutenant. What happened? Oh, jeez, another boffers goes up. I'm just really surprised that that was attacking. Uh, I've seen it not do anything in a British base before. Uh, hence the game uh, against, uh, what was it? Uh, the Microza replay from last week on Langers. Oh. He put that down. It didn't attack anything, right? Or was that that's against? Really uh, that was against Americans, wasn't it? Yeah. It might, yes, yeah, it was. Maybe that's why. So yeah, I guess the uh, Winchell's Donuts combat air support actually has a uh, purpose to own uh, British defenses like this. Now here's a question: How is it the Boffers give so much XP to the Axis player? Because it, it it shows plus 16, plus 17, plus 3, plus 3, plus late. Plus three. So each of the individual soldiers in the boffers gives XP, and then it gives like something like 30 XP for killing it. That's a good question. It's really weird. Um, I don't know if that's a bug or something, but it, it gives plus 16 yeah. and plus 17 separately. Yeah, I don't know. That might be a EXP bug. I don't know. I was seeing it as uh, plus eight. Well, of course, it's different because you know you're actually you're losing as right. opposed to destroying. But uh, it was about I think it was eight, uh, three and three, maybe it was something like that. Oh, here comes uh, the real artillery down right oh, in front of the trench. But he's gonna lieutenant move. just got owned, really, really fast. Ah, uh, twenty-five pounders going. He's trying to get in there, 
trying, trying to fight off this uh, massive this defensive. Horde. It's the massive defensive veteran siege. They're just not dying. Yep. I mean, this is why people uh, like when I was talking to the one of the guys on the balance team. They're like, "Well, you know, commandos are kind of fine." I'm like, "It sure as hell don't seem fine." But what were those? I mean, all he's got is really commandos there, pretty much, and they weren't doing anything. Uh, now, why really did he bother against... calling in another field support truck? Does he need the sappers? He hasn't mm. been using the steward. He hasn't. He still got a captain. They're, it's so cheap that you would al almost not really think twice about yeah, it. Yeah, I guess that's true. But uh, FG42 upgrading and the uh, falls to fall squad. Ouch. Man, <laughs> it's British too bad bait. that 25 pounder wasn't around for a little bit longer. It had almost destroyed one base building. That's how effective it was this game. Look at all the barrels yeah. on the left hand side and all the craters. Man, that's what are those that's some, sandbags uh, from destroyed I don't know. From the HQ? Yeah. I think it's from the uh, field support truck. Yeah. But yeah. And the plane finally disappeared. Yep. To one that destroyed. Uh oh, here comes the massive blob. Ah it's the blob. Ah, the blob. Whoa, there goes some Oh. Comes down some real arty, but uh, it's supposed to come down. There it oh, goes. It actually Woo! killed a squad. Wow. Yep. Nice. And the captain's about dead. Yep. There he goes. Ouch. Yeah, Savvykin's last stand. It looks like. Could uh, be. Just can, uh, He's got a lieutenant this off. time. Maybe it'll counter that uh, veterancy. Oh, but they're in the trench. Oh, here comes Someone's going to lose everything in just GG right here. I don't yeah. know. It could be surprise. could be uh, savvy because the replay is about over. Another incendiary grenade going off. Surprise. I wonder how this one's going to end because uh, surprise still has a lot of his stuff and uh, so does savvy, but it doesn't look like there's much of the replay left. Yeah, well, they're both very thinned now. We got two falls and three panzer grenadiers against... Two infantry sections and one uh, uh, commando section. Yep. And maybe right now would have been a, a, a good opportunity for S Savvy to try to switch. I know in my game against Spikes that uh, he uh, he was able to uh, decap the right side and then cap it and then park his truck over there, which is, and then build two trenches on me. Um, <laughs> I pretty much I already lost the game by then, but. Yeah, that was kind of the coup de gras right there. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. This is probably the coup de gras. His commando squad's over on the right. Wow, half health. I definitely think if there's anything that Savvy did not do this uh, this game that maybe he could get in the future, although I know this was very late uh, for him over in Russia and that um, he had already played a bunch of games in the day. Um, you know, like myself and everyone else in the tournament, but uh, definitely a casualty clearing station. Use the 40 munitions, heal up all your guys. Would have been, would have been nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's just massive, massive amounts of uh, incendiary grenades coming yeah. off. It's like those trenches aren't even worth going into by the time you get incendiary grenades on and enough munitions to use it on like three Panzer Grenadier squads at the same time. Yep. Yeah. See, an another thing is, is uh, you know, in a situation like this or in any of the other attempts uh, that surprise made on Savvy's base, uh, if you put the casualty clearing, if you notice, like, behind the HQ truck, right, there was never anyone that made it that far. So you could activate the healing during battle and just, you know, micro your squads in and out, you know. And uh, it it's got a pretty big radius. So Yeah, it is a really big radius. Yeah, I, d I definitely think that uh, that really, really hurt Savvy. Uh, he had no healing as opposed to Surprise, which had... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nice touch That's a little on that late one. in coming, but that's pretty good. Yeah, but definitely casualty clearing uh, station. Uh, not only that, but, you know, it, d it does have medics on there. That's true. So... He could have probably got a bunch of free uh, infantry sections throughout this. Put some Brens exactly. on them, it might have added enough firepower to help out the commandos in those charges. Exactly. Good... Good observation on that one. But this is another 
example of how overpowered infantry is in this game in balance to vehicles. Anytime vehicles yep. got built, the German infantry just destroyed the hell out of you. Yep. Uh, the best chance that Brits have against uh, that kind of spam is, uh, frankly, it's it's stewards or if you can get out enough uh, Cromwells, you know, two or three Cromwells, and uh, can do like a kiting slash kind of backup and kite that type of thing, uh, you have a pretty good chance. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the Shreks are, are are pretty hard to deal with, especially when you get larger squad size and all that defensive. Uh, Defensive veterans, the uh, definitely well played by by both players. This was like I I think I had mentioned before was one of the longer replays from the tournament. Most of them ended up being around 200 to 300 k because of all the imbalances that's in this game. But I felt that this was a pretty good good match from what I heard and uh, the first few minutes of it that I saw. So, what did you think, Bridger? I thought it was a pretty good game as well. It's certainly one of the better ones that we're gonna get. Um, on Angaville considering the current state of the balance and it's still, oh, I just want to see something I mean, actually, I read a thread in Relic News about somebody who said I played a game where we all agreed not to upgrade our Panzer Grenadiers we were just going to use the Panzer Grenadiers the way they came except with Gewehrs, those are the only things we were allowed to upgrade on the Panzer Grenadiers and if we wanted Shreks, we had to buy Tank Busters and if we wanted MP44s, we had to buy Assault Grenadiers and it felt so much better because you couldn't possibly have a huge spammy blob because they cost so much more manpower so these ridiculously powerful upgrades that have just become more powerful with the with the veterancy um, were actually fewer and more expensive overall so that was an interesting observation. I don't know if that's what you need to do to balance it, but it's another um, observation of you know how you know terrible the balance is right now that we had to you know limit our options to try and see if we could get a good game, <laughs> just to see what would happen. Uh, that's that's been the uh, you know I don't know. I'm just hoping that they can. Uh... I mean, because last year, you know, we had we had pretty good balance. I mean, there was I mean, the bar was Imba, the Calliope was Imba, you know, the the Puma was Imba, but they changed that and and they kind of moved away to that that all or nothing vehicle war after ten fifteen minutes to a more infantry centric war. I think a lot of people agree they went a little overboard uh, by the one point seven one. That's all you ever saw was you know like Nystrom made pretty popular tier two, uh, tier two tear towards the end there, or uh, you know Blitz Comcraft Center, uh, which wasn't as overpowered as its counterpart, um, the uh, uh, the quick motor pool uh, in one point five. But I really hope uh, we only got to play with one point seven one, which was the best balance for about three months, I believe, uh, and. Uh, we had the OF beta, so m most people were playing that. But I really hope it doesn't take a year to get that kind of yeah. good semblance of balance because then we'll have another COH expansion come out and we'll really only have about two or three good months. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, you know Relic really listens to their balance team and uh, that the designers make uh, good decisions based yeah. off of that feedback and, and that we can, uh, we can get this... Uh, we can get this game in a slightly better state. I think the balance overall is still pretty good. You just got like a couple units here about maybe a top, I could probably do like a top 20 issue thing, but it's not like it's so messed up. I could tell you some stories, Bridger, but uh, <laughs> my uh, N NDA would get me in trouble. There you so, go. Anyways. Yeah. All right. So that's it for episode number 55. We're on now. Oh my God. Remember, Send us your replays, questions, and comments to talesof at gamefire.com, T-A-L-E-S-O-F at gamefire.com. Also, please send us feedback on the website. What do you like? What don't you like? What do you wish you could see? Check out the blogs on the website, www.gamefire.com. i got to update my blog. i got some other stuff i got to talk about on there. So look for that coming in the near future. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a great night.